really raining today, but okay. I can work inside. So I'm starting with the bar. There's a nice bar inside of the chateau and there is a big mirror in front of it. And they already created a little bar, but I thought maybe it is nice if I'm making nice shelves in front of the mirror that you can put all the glasses and bottles in there. And it is make it uh, much handier if it uh, yeah, after uh, a lot of people in the in, in the bar. So I will show you what I had planned, and I will show you later uh, inside. So here it is. So I was looking for poles. So this came off from an old table. So I saw it now in half. So here you have. Beautiful poles. It came off from this uh, table. We found it on the internet for uh, for 50 euro. And also that piece. So I will put this in front of the mirror. And then I make a frame on the bottom. And then with shelves in between. It's a little bit difficult, hard maybe to, to see it now, but I will show you the, the process and uh, I think it's uh, going to be stunning. It's also everything is coming from an old table and I found uh, some parts from an old bed. So I'm going to put it all together and make a really nice bar of it. So here is the bar. So I want to put the shelves in front of the mirror because now the opening is on this side and I will open it also on this side. So it's already a fridge and then shelves in front of the mirror. So like this. And then shelf. And then another one. And then another one. So something like this. So this is what I found from an uh, yeah, old bed, I think. So this is nice for the side of the bar. And this I don't know yet, and I found some of those. Well, see, I put everything out and then see how I can fit everything uh, together. So, again, a nice job. So that came out very nice. So that's beautiful for the sides. Only I have to take this. <laughs> Wheel off, okay. So that's from the bed, so that is nice for the side. So this is the table, that is uh, the top. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it out. Take everything off. And then I see, because I don't, do not, uh, do not know, you know yet what to do with it, but it will come. So I covered some fault, but not for this project. But I think it is nice if you make it smaller against the wall, like a shelf somewhere. It is really nice wood. Or make an, uh, well. 
Well, um, there will be something where I can use it for, for another project. So I just keep it and we'll see later. But I got all the other pieces. So let's start this puzzle. So everything is set up. The tools. The workplace. And the material. and where it has to come. So, let the operation begin. And I found this piece on the attic. I cleaned it up a little bit. So I thought, maybe that's nice put there on the top. Well, I have to think about it, but I think it's nice. So I made this shelf for the bar. I sun test them a little bit round. And now, and now painting, 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 sun dust to give it a nice brown color, then it is everything is the, the same. So now I can put everything together. I start with the under frame. So this part with the sides. So I made the frame under and above and I put the sides on and in the middle then we can have some shelves there too for bottles so in here comes it on So if the shells are dry, I can tend to build it up because I first needed the, the underframe to get it strong to work to the top. So um, I hope the shells are ready tomorrow, then I uh, can continue. So I finished the shelves and that become out very nice. I did, I painted black because you see that back in the the sides. I have to fill that piece up. So now I can uh, finish the rest. So work it up and see uh, how that goes. So something like this. So I took the biggest bottle, so it is nice, and I cut it here. So I saw this piece off, and now this one I sand dusted, and this one not. So now I'm going to make this the same color because this is too shiny. That's not nice. And the height is now much better. So, okay. So I sun dusted them and stained them. So this is the old one and this is how 
they are now. And now it is more one. Same color as the sides and the shell. So yeah, I like it. So now it is nice. One shelf here and one shelf there. But I have to cut this little bit off because it's a different height there too. So it is nice when it get just cut here and then this piece will come here. And then I fill it up with something else, but then it also come back in the in the poles. So it becomes very a creative thing to do from all those pieces where I uh, what we found on the on the attic in the in the cellar, an old table, um, yeah, an old bed. So. I love this to do this to first uh, look around what you can use and make it uh, yeah special and you don't see it somewhere else so yeah I like it so I continue and uh, yeah we'll see the rest later then so I saw this one off but it is tricky because I do everything by hand so you have to be very precisely but yeah perfect So I took it off, so now it's in one line. Because here's some surprise. <laughs> but okay. So I have to put this piece first on. Because it needs a uh, little support here. So we're getting there. Another shelf. And now I make this piece in here. And these are the leftovers from the table. So I will put that. This I put here. So here the same. So I first will there. So I first will connect everything together because then you don't see the, the screws. So I will connect it from the back and then I could put everything on. Only I need some point to, to screw this in the in the wall, but and I, I can fix that with a little uh, wood filler. So okay, let's go. So now I finish this. So that is nice. And here I will buy this to get that back on for the finishing touch. But I need something here. So I thought I can use this. Take a piece of there. And take a piece of there. Yeah, I think uh, will, it is, uh, will be nice because it makes the finishing touch. 
and it gets more more detail in it yeah so i think it's going to be beautiful let's do it this broke off uh, shoot well i will uh, repair it and then uh, i will use it for something else but i got this so if i saw this in half that would also be nice all right so like that yeah that's nice so i gave them a sand dust I will glue them on with some screws. So that looks good. <coughs> but before I put everything together, I first give it an. Uh, I, I sent this all the pieces apart. So now I'm going to give it an, uh, a stain and paint and then uh, two times, then it will be the same color as the rest. And then I put it on the wall. So they are ready, painted. So now I can make them uh, on. So I put some holes in there and uh, let's see how it uh, looks. That looks good. That is not so nice, of course, but I can put something in there or over that you don't see it. 
So now I can uh, connect the shells to that. Then I can make start with the uh, one piece more and then it's uh, it's almost done. So I'm now working on the top. Three poles left. And I thought it needs something more. So I had this piece over from the table. So I thought that would be nice to put that on the top. So I will first uh, saw the pieces and put it on to see how it looks like. And then uh, I think it will be nice, but first, yes, just put it on and see how it looks like. Okay. So it's on. But now I'm not sure how to put it like this or that. Well, we have to see and make, uh, yeah, I have to try it out. I think like this. But it needs something in the middle. Something like that. So I finished the top. Sides from the bed. <laughs> the top from the table. So, yeah. It needs some finishing touch, but I can do that l later because um, it's all small, small things and that doesn't give too much dust because now I can start on the cabinet. So, okay. I just wanted to finish the, the bar before I started on the cabinet. So I did all the little details. It needs some more finishing but that is for later but so now i really can start on the cabinet so here it is it just is a start to get the stuff out So I'm very happy with it and also Cher saw it and she said, yeah, that looks great. So I'm very um, glad. So what did I use? So there is a table, pieces of an old table in there, pieces of an old bed in there and pieces of an old closet in there. So it is all material. We bought the table for 50 euro. The bed was here. Um, I bought some wood for the shelves, that was 130 euro, a little paint, some screws, and that was it. <laughs> it 
normally if you have to make something like that and you have to make buy all the new wood it will cost you a couple of thousand euro to make a bar like this so it is always for me a challenge to first see what there is lying around what can i use what do we really need and uh, yeah i love it so okay um this is for now we're going to have a drink uh, tonight uh, in the bar then i can make a nice uh, flock of this beautiful product and uh, then the next video will be about the cabinet and when everything is ready of course i make a uh, short video of of everything <music> So the bar is ready, so we're going to open it with a glass of champagne. <laughs> there we go. Come on, stand up. Let's just get the picture.